Hi, my art friends. It's Miss Rose from the Cary Area Library with another art project for you to do at home. Today, we're going to be making a paper weaving of a flag. Here are the supplies you need for the paper weaving of the flag. A ruler, a pencil, some glue, either a glue stick or a glue bottle, scissors. You'll need 10 strips of red paper, um, a 9 by 12 sheet of white paper, and some yellow and blue construction paper. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is fold our white paper in half. And up where the opening is, not where the folded area is, you're going to measure down one inch from the top of that opening. You're going to do this with pencil, but I'm doing it with marker so you can see it better. So I measured one inch, remember that's from the opening, not the folded line. And then you're going to draw your line across. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to measure one and a half inches increments and make a little mark. So one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half, one and a half. When you're done with that, you should have five markings. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now you're going to be drawing five wavy lines from the line you drew to the folded mark. Remember, you have an opening at the top and you're doing it while the paper is still folded. So you're going to draw wavy lines from the line you drew to the fold of the paper. Don't make your wavy lines too crazy because you are going to have to cut these with the scissors once you've done all five. All right, so check to make sure you got five lines. They're from the line you, the straight line you drew at the top all the way down to the fold. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna, with your paper still folded, you're gonna try and cut on those wavy lines. Do the best you can, take your time. You're gonna cut all the way up to that line you drew and stop. And remember, you're cutting through both pieces of paper, starting at the fold and going up to your straight line and stopping. It's a little hard to cut. That's why I said don't get too crazy with your wavy lines because you are going to have to cut them. So if you make them super wavy, it's a little harder to cut but do the best you can. Try and stay on your lines. And my last one. Oops, the last one gets a little harder. Up to that line and stop. All right, you're gonna open your paper up and it should look like this. I like to put my pencil lines on the back side so you don't see them. So I'm gonna flip it over and try and get this crease out of it. All right, so now we're gonna start weaving with our red strips. Now when you weave, you have to remember to think under, over, under, over. So I'm gonna start going over this first section and going under, over, under, over, and under. I'm gonna push my paper as far over as I can. And you're ready for your next strip. Now since I went over on this one, I'm gonna start going under for the next one. Under, over, under, over, under, and over. 
you're going to slide it over next to the first one you did. It's kind of tricky. And push them together. So it kind of looks like a checkerboard pattern. Ready for our next strip. We started under, so this one's going to go over. Under, over, under, over, and under. Slide it over. All right. Let's do our next one. I started over, so I'm going to be going under. And I'm going to do an oops to see if you can tell what I did wrong on this one. Look at my strip. It's kind of the same. What happened to my checkerboard pattern? So that's not right. So we're going to pull it out and start over. Under, over, under, over, under, over. Slide it over, ready for your next one. Just remember to do the opposite of what you did on the strip before and keep going. Sliding over till all your strips are done. Looks like we'll have room for one or two more. It's kind of harder at the end when the paper gets closer together. I'm going to try and get one more in there. And we might not. It's a little tight. Alright, mine's not working, so I think I'll just stop with that one. Just go with that and then I might just add the other strip on the end here. So now you're going to take your glue stick and put a little glue at the end of your strips so they stay stuck. Don't move around. You're going to flip this over and do the same. And if you want to add that last one, just over here, we can do that. And depending on how you cut it, you, you'll most likely get that last strip in. Mine was a little tight, so I wasn't able to get that in. Okay, decide what shape you want to use your blue paper to go in the upper left-hand corner of your flag. I'm just going to use this as a square to make it easier. So um, that would be the upper left-hand corner of your flag. And then you're going to add some stars with the yellow paper. So a really easy way to do multiple stars, you can fold your paper in half and draw your stars. However you can draw stars, stars are kind of tricky to draw and they don't have to be really great looking stars. As you can tell, mine are not. Okay, and since I folded my paper in half, when I cut this out, I'll get six stars to put on my square. So that'll then be like that. And you're going to glue all your stars and your blue paper on to the flag. And if you want, you can trim your red strips. If you'd like them hanging long like that, that's fine. On my finished sample, I cut some of them and then I cut out a triangle on the bottom of some of the strips. 
Thanks for joining me for this art project and I hope you had fun. See you next time when we will be making sunny sunflowers with tissue paper. See ya!